I mean, a lot of times um, games with this design aren't... Um, hmm. Some people might be able to win on the early runs, but usually then they're, they're not designed to be winnable until you've um, bought a bunch of the uh, the skills and uh, some of the whatever the supply drops availability of better items. Right. So instead of trying to win, it, it, you know, playing is playing fast and reckless to get the um, the power up currency buying the power-ups and then continuing playing fast and reckless until eventually all of a sudden you're like oh i'm almost there then play a bit safer or play fast and reckless if you if you dude strong enough all right so that pipe gun is crap we want anyone with a better gun uh let's try this gun it's a learning cycle too yeah Noticing like that generator, what we should have done was fuel the car, then done the generator, and then done a runner for the car straight away. On one hand, cold, but on the other hand, the very reason you're out there because you're already dead. Also that I'm not con I'm not actually dead, they are, and I'm controlling them. You can't start the car if zombies are beating on it. Yeah, that's why you need to do a runner for the car. That's why you need to fill it with fuel first. Because um, the problem I had in that last one, I, I had the fuel on my back, so I couldn't couldn't fuel it. Well, I didn't have fuel? Well, maybe I didn't have fuel. Maybe I could have just gone. All right, anyway, pass on knowledge. I want to earn more knowledge. All right. And then we'll go for the XP fill up. <laughs> and then, so after we've filled up our knowledge and our XP, then we'll start doing stuff that help us. Like, uh, unarmed damage, I think it'd be a good one. Or minus for infections. I seem to be dying, but I'm not actually playing serious to win, I'm playing to get knowledge. So I don't know if I'd want to slow down infection or increase damage yet. So you'd have to assess that based on how you're playing and what's happening to you. If you're playing from the very beginning on trying to do the best run you can, instead of advancing the campaign as much as possible, you just want to try and go further, then you just look and go, okay, I'm dying because I'm taking too much damage or I'm, my infection's getting to me for, you know. You can just keep buying knowledge. So you can buy one of those every run for 50. So we could just, we literally could just die two more times, buy another 20 knowledge. Gear insurance is one run only. We can put bat drops in, G17 drops. Start with some more rounds. Hey, I know what we can do. Let's load our gun. You know, just to be, uh... I remember this neighborhood. Alright, gun is loaded. Wow, we got lots of bullets in this gun. I like it. It seemed like an unnecessary amount of wheel spin. Look, I think maybe that's that's what's going to happen when the zombie apocalypse ha occurs. And the only car they can get going is a um, um, an older. It'll be it'll be some Frankenstein um, car. It'll be a manual um, carburetor car. It'll probably even have a choke. Um,
And I reckon that's how people were driving. Because, you know. They'd be like, what, what's a clutch? What do you mean? Let the choke out. through a window. Six knowledge. Four knowledge. get to it it's showing me that that one there it's like you guys see what's going on here oh yeah let the zombies beat their way in for me Not it. So it's showing me the item. I was standing here and I can see the item. If I get closer to it, I can't loot it anymore. I got supplies. Okay. These zombies make me feel the way that I feel playing walk I feel that playing Walking Dead would be. Where except for the runners. Um but like they just always seem to be creeping up. Like, there's just another one that seems to be coming around the corner. Are some loot's elevated? Not. Oh. Um. Not that you need to be elevated. Like, they might be represented in a, a cupboard that's higher. Oh man, really? Why'd you get hold of me? Might have to try and throw a brick. See what happens. There's the petrol. There's a supply bag as well. I think those are all those little running kids.
They are a pain in the butt. Like you can recognize the model at least, which is kind of cool. And you know, like you know, they're going to run, and then there's almost nothing you can do about it when they do. Stamina painkillers. He'll have a time. Oh, this is Yeah, I think for throwing a brick at zombies, it's definitely going to be something where, I don't know, you're just going to be, and maybe if you're on a roof and you go, you know, you go over to the right side here and you, you thud it on that side of them if they were near this big tree, and then they go walking that way a little bit so you can um, then go left. There's also what looks to be a big trunk there that I want to have a look at. Really curious about that. We're up to 36 knowledge as well. So that knowledge, I think it gives like plus one knowledge point to anything that was going to give you knowledge. That's what it feels like. Um, there's something there we want to loot. Yeah, I think it's distraction only. Not not for like conking one on the skull and um, at a distance. You ever tried to throw a brick? I have. Um, we had this dead TV, like an old big CRT TV, and we'd taken it to the dump because um, it was it was dead. And my mate had some bricks in the truck, and we're like, "Hey, let's um," because we knew that that because of the CRT tube, if you smash it, it makes a huge noise, that very bassy thud. Um, so we go to throw this brick, and it was embarrassing. Um. But eventually we got one by we did like the 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 granny style free throw shot. Okay, so this glowy crate's nothing. Um and we got the brick up and, and, and we took pot shots and we're just taking turns. See who could um who could get the TV. Um I, I know I didn't get it. I don't know which one of my mates got it. Um And for anyone who hasn't, um done that with an old CRT monitor or TV, get yourself an opportunity to do it because I, it, it sounds like a bomb's gone off. Oh, I can only take one thing. Oh, where's the car? That's important to know. You can only take the bag or the fuel, um, so we'll have to make two trips. But yeah, so I can confirm throwing bricks is tough. Um, even when they were half bricks. I don't know what they've got in them, yeah. But it's, it's, because it's a, um, I think it's more the vacuum seal. Alright, we have a merchant, which we definitely want to get some knowledge. And that one's got the HVAC, or the HVAC, the Herc thing. So we definitely want to go to those two. Of course it sounds like a bomb. Well, it doesn't ignite though. you got to remember that. Like, it's not like you're lighting the gas on fire and it's blowing up like a, a pressurized thing with a fuse on it would. It's just the, like the sound of it, like, yeah, I think it's just the depressurization of it. Really, really bassy.
All right, let's start. Uh, hopefully no runners. That's cool. It's like, what? We, we got in the store and then shut the door so that we don't have to deal with the zombies. And then out the back. Throwing a bottle is a distraction though, very easy, because you can grip the neck. Oh yeah, it'd be an implosion, right? Yeah, of course it would. Which would also explain why it leaves like the um Um it doesn't it doesn't leave a huge mess. And it just sort of, um, uh oh. Oh, that's, get away. Look at that dude, he, like, leaves this. Okay, it's almost as if your muscles punch back. Enemy attacks have a chance to suffer a stun if they hit you. Charger wasn't very good. Um, 100% unarmed damage. Minus 20% action speed. That's an interesting one. Do not go into his death cloud because it's a death cloud. Wonder where you find new CRTs these days. I don't know if you can find new ones. Seven knowledge. Look at those ham hocks. Go. Okay, so effectively, oh, and I don't think the hundred percent damage um, is very good, right? As a starting one, I was about to say because I don't knock anyone down. Um, sure, it's double damage, but what's happening? We uh, the big thing I noticed there. We're still hitting zombies four times, except we're killing them on the fourth hit. Previously, we were um, knocking them down and then curb stomping them. Yeah, charity store. Even then, you're really going to struggle. Deceased estates. Yeah, so all the, um, all this is really, all that double damage really saved us was the, we don't have to curb stomp someone. Now, there's the fuel. Okay, so we could leave, but we're going to go for some knowledge. I'm liking this. Alright, that's a sploder, right? I'm going to do something dumb. I was seeing if I could get him to explode on his friends. Looks like his death cloud's gone. There's the merchant. There's some more fuel. So there's a reason to hang around as well. Um, do we have any... That's a stamina heal.
Infection damage too. You can use these? Oh, you give yourself infection damage. Wait, wait, wait. Why would you do... <laughs> Let's get more unarmed damage. To gain a mutation faster. Yeah, but... Okay. Uh, okay. It's a cool option, I guess. So I want to loot this store. We've got more fuel available, which is good. No knowledge. We're sitting on 43 knowledge though, so... I'm happy with that. I wonder if the fuel can is one of the... F it's, we're at four out of five. I wonder if this is one of the five. No, it's not. So there's still something to um, scavenge. And I think it's going to be outside. Maybe it's in that little cage area there. So you could potentially skip a zone if you've got enough fuel. Oh, so boxes on the outside, that was like a, a fuse box or something. They count as... Um, yeah, attached to the wall counts as part of the building one. Hey, Mikhail, what's going on, dude? I got some stuff. Open your store, dude. He's got 13 knowledge. What can I sell? Uh, most of the stamina stuff. Actually, what is our stamina at? 87. So if we keep like 120 stamina, I guess. Wait, do I have a battery? It'll be in miscellaneous, right? Or pocketables? Um, keep the painkillers. You can have the inflected blood samples. Gain some stamina. Why doesn't it tell me how much? That's a. Yeah, take a. Take my brick, dude. So he's out of stamina uh, knowledge. We've got 56 knowledge. Knowledge. Okay, so we w might want to buy a battery then. Because there's a Herc place coming up. It could... The thing is, it might not be a battery one. It might be a, a thing one. 
And do I even care? I mean, I can sell 20 more. I think I, I think I can sell the 20 knowledge worth of stuff in other things now. In which case then it doesn't matter. Right? I mean, I'm not going to sell that pistol. Okay, battery cost me three knowledge. But maybe worth. Five fuel. We definitely want to go to that one. There should be a radio inside the Herc one as well. Does your infection increase when you are full health? Um, I think you still get some as well. Um, if you just stood there, you still get some, yeah. So that is the, that is one of the worst sound effects I have ever had the misfortune of um, hearing in a game. bad. <laughs> the Herklanzies have to start a generator? Yeah. And then you go inside, right? Probably clear the area out too a little bit, right? Like, I'm pretty sure it spawns in more zombies. But it, it would definitely attract the nearby ones, right? So should, you, should we try to clear out the zone first? Let's just do this. 
And kick. And kick. And... Right, that's for the battery. Or well, that's for the battery. Huh, which one do we want to put the battery on? Oh! Infected blood. damage resource stamina. <laughs> that is it, Pads. I'm going to talk to you about expired warranty. Let's grab an antiviral. Okay, that requires a battery as well. So the battery for in here is like that. There's an antiviral. You can also use five corrupted blood for an antiviral. I sold them to what's his face. So we definitely want to kill zombies in, in this map. I got a hundred and... Man, okay, this sucks. <laughs> we do massive amounts of melee damage. We've got all our perks are based around punching and, and, and meleeing. I picked up a, like 200 rounds of shotgun ammo. Or some sort of rifle. And then what have we got? A sports shot rifle. So there's no point punching, you know, because you can't take your bullets with you when you go. Might punch some things. Okay, so this symbol with the repair, that's crafting. Okay, no, good. Cricket man. That's cricket. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to jinx this one, but I think this run's going places now. I haven't even put any perks into anything that actually does anything. All my all my um, meta currency has been spent in knowledge gain. I think it was in the kitchen. Thanks, Kizron.
can confirm battery worth um, for weapons cash. Come on. Yeah, let's quickly repair the engine now. That cost us, it just cost us time. Good, good. There's a bag there. We definitely want that and whatever's in the house. Nine lootables in the house. The M nineteen eleven, good gun, yeah. Rad just that was a basement. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Game was like, sup? Yeah, hey, welcome to the basement. More fuel. So we can't take the fuel because we've got the case on our back. Um, let's see if we've got anything for a small heal. Stamina? I want actual health. Okay, there's still two more things in the house. Outside, there's some knowledge. That one count? No, that that one we got outside didn't count as in the house. Um, there's one. Okay, let's get this um, supply back to the car. We'll come back and get the fuel as well. to 200 um, supplies uh, and we have 61 knowledge. Now, I was just about to say, this is this is a, a, a design check. Um, 
if zombies had respawned in the basement, definitely would have been very upset with that. If reduced infection gain affects passive infection you get over time, I would think so. So that's a way you can stay alive longer if you want to scavenge more. Right, five fuel. This, uh, I think we did okay. There's nothing else we can do here, really. Let's, um... Okay, so this is our last choice. Large neighborhood or a safe house? We've been to a neighborhood before. I want to go to the safe house so we can hit a new node and see what it's about. Can you skip whole areas if you have a buttload of fuel like this? No, you have to at least pull up at the next one, but I'm pretty sure you can get straight back into the car. Suburbs, 31%. <laughs> Stupid zombies. I get a silencer for my um uh -oh. My rifle would be great. I have to make sure I don't just burn through this ammo though. Um because we still have a couple more nodes. <laughs> Looks like something on the, um, the counter there inside the uh Okay, six places to loot. Hey, Takavak, yeah, I'm playing with controller on PC. So I was going to heal before, but look, our infection's almost caught up with our health. So I guess it depends how you feel, like if you, if you think the zone's worrying you or not. No, oh, that's the whole house done. Let's ignore that lady. Behind the bus here. No, we're getting invisible walled there. I think if you're close enough to a zombie that falls over a barricade, you should be able to go for a, a curb stomp, hey?
Uh, it's a safe house. Look, they've, they're barricaded in. It's, oh, hang on. Come on out, boys. Okay, so you can't shoot them through the wall. Even though you can aim at them. Oh. The house doesn't look safe. I know, right? One thing that I saw someone, I was tuning in on to watch a little bit of play, and I saw someone, um, which I was really surprised, I saw it, and then the dude died because there was a shotgun trap. I never see traps. Um, but yeah, I don't know, for some reason I saw this one. So I'm just waiting for me to go around a corner. Um, Okay, so this is a full health. However, it only fills up to your infection. Now health and infection are uh, meeting at the moment, so there's no point taking that. We can get some more XP, which I don't know what that's going to do. More melee resistance. We're almost dead. I don't think... Well, maybe that's where we want to go. No, let's, let's go for more XP. Help the colony. There's a supply bag there. We don't have fuel on our back, do we? Find the source of the noise. I don't know if that's what we want to be doing. Oh, look at that. Okay, before we... What is that? Home base, do you copy? It's radar, we read you. I found something. Okay, that's a little worrying. What is it? It's mechanical, but... But what? Something's growing out of it. And it's highly concerning. How big is the growth? Like a small dog. Trying to move the growth any way you can. I need you to get a better look at the device. Okay. I was about to say, before I do anything to do with that... Alright. I'm going to take the bag back to... Wow! Give me all the stuff. I'm going to take the bag back to the, um, the car. Right, so we can deliver the supplies. Um, so that way if we die doing this, we've got a frying pan, we'll be saved. Um, we've delivered the supplies, like that's, that's important. There is also another thing we can loot in this place apparently. It might be that, but... No, there it is. on the outside of the house? Yeah, there's definitely a few um, objects that um, slightly bugged here, like... So I need to find a way to sort of trick the game into thinking I'm close enough. do it on one of these before before by like spamming Y and then getting to within actual range but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that one does the infection bar not start till you get hit for the first time uh, I think it's slow I'm pretty sure I had one where I was doing nothing and it, and it started it's not it's not super quick though so you might have to be hanging around for a while for that first tick. There might even be a mechanic where... If you've got... Like, at the moment we're at max health. 
So maybe that sort of fights it back a bit. Whereas if we're at 24 out of 25, maybe the infection's more likely to take that one. Oh, 24 out of 24 now. I don't have a, a thing to hold it back. Alright, let's do the... destroyed the growth. Home base, it's gone. How come we have a radio now? It's gone. The fleshy part. Who instructed you to do that? Do you have any idea what you've done? Doctor, doctor, wait. Dr. Stebman has stepped away. Never mind, I'll deal with him later. Let's break down this device you've found. Describe its features to me. That has a control panel. Okay, that's good. Any switches, labels, or identifying markers? Um, looks like it's... There's a code or serial number. Oh, what's the number? 2711. Hmm, must be an ID code or something. Anything else on the control panel? Uh, Herc parts. That makes sense. I'll have to get Hector to inspect it. Anything else on the control panel? It's powered. Must have been installed recently. No battery can last that long. Anything else on the control panel? There's another part. Anything else? A cylinder. Does it have tubing or venting? It's where the growth was. It must be some sort of storage. Anything else? An antenna. Must be receiving some kind of signal. Anything else? I think that's everything. Are you sure? Actually... I think that's everything. Are you sure? Actually... I think that's everything. Are you sure? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I'll get Buzzard and his crew to pick that thing up. Good find. Hopefully we can figure this thing out. Completed certain thing. Achievement unlocked. Call of the Wild. Now, I want this. Oh. Come on. No, I'm not going to get that bugged out. Do we have something for max stamina? Uh, we need like 30 max stamina. Oh, pocketable. Restores a large amount. How much? Fish gives 20 max stamina. I wonder if it tells me now. Okay, once you've used one once, it will tell me. Unless it already told me and I wasn't paying attention. It said 20. <laughs> well, I'm blind. Reading's hard. Ooh, hang on. You might... Hang on. Maybe, yeah, because there's a box on the back of the wall, maybe? It's worth a look. Nah. That's alright. We've only got 22 health, and if we don't... Um, so I did sell some um, stuff to the dudes. Uh, to the dude. Some of the... Um, these guys drop their mutated blood. Five of them will give you the syringe, which stops the inf like holds back the infection. Why don't I get a? Oh, hang on. So that wasn't the safe house. That was just a random quest checkpoint. 
where this is the node I actually chose to stop at. All right, there's a bag right there. And fuel. Strangely enough, at the safe house, um, which we've pulled up at. Two hundred and fifty supply we're up to. Bunch of knowledge. That's a radio transmit knowledge. Okay. Safe house is a good stop off. Let's take knowledge retention. We've maxed out our knowledge retention. We're gonna go for XP gain now. Need 22. Still haven't taken anything that helps the run or future runs. It's a workbench. Seven knowledge. Um, XP, when you get um, higher level, it'll put more stuff in the supply depot back at base. Or so you think, Israel. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so the safe house literally... I mean, it's a good place to be. Like, you can get some good stuff. Um, There is a crafting bench, which... It's full. Oh, the car fills up at five. I wonder if we can get in the car with fuel on our back. Um, need to know the recipes. Oh, that's the knowledge one. Combine two items to craft a new item. Discover recipes by combining. All right, let's go with a board. And uh, a brick. Yeah. I don't know. I Let's go some water and a rag. We get a bandage. I'd rather, see, personally, I'd rather unlock the recipes somewhere, like pay for them, or just go to Google and find out. I hate the constant trying different things just to see what I get. I know some people like that, so I, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. I just don't like that. Oh, you can't take your fuel with you either. So once you're maxed out on fuel, there's no point getting fuel from an area. Well, one of the things we can get is a... Um, a bigger backpack, which I'll get after um, I get all the knowledge and experience. You can choose not to leave if you want to check your thing. Okay, that's good. Hey, Jam Jam, it's going well. There's also, if you're encumbered, you, you lose stamina. I don't think you get infected more. But I wonder if you're infected more if you're on low stamina. We just drove through the gates. <laughs> 70% done with the suburbs. Okay, now our infection is getting really close to killing us. Oh, we've got crickets again. Who loves the in-game crickets chat? Oh, look at that katana. I don't want to use that.
More knowledge. There's a bag there. Okay, that's what we're after then. Two hundred seventy-five supply. We're up to. That's a campfire. So the only thing we're doing is then we can loot for knowledge, but we're at sixteen. Um, sixteen max health. So the other thing that sucks about having um, this this massive penalty to um, our infection is that uh, our max health is low. So you can't heal up. I don't think it's worth looting these. To try, even though even though we could get some knowledge from the house, unless we can be really quick. I don't think I can be really quick. More melee damage, less stamina, more aimed damage. We got more aim damage now that we've got this rifle. Um, I've got 36 knowledge though. There's some knowledge right there. Yeah, probably a lot of this stuff I shouldn't be, shouldn't even be looting. But if you can't be encumbered, you're not a true gamer, right? Look at this one. Look how far away that is. That's terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. We've got 13 max health. So this is where having the, um, the inf the infection um, takes longer to kick in. Could be a thing. Come on. Bessie One, do you copy? This is Bessie One. The numbers on the device you found. It's not a code, it's a radio frequency. I've managed to find the frequency, but I can't make anything out. But the signal is too weak. Someone is out there broadcasting. We need to boost that signal. Boost the signal? Well, the old maps show a prominent hill that is in line with the direction of the source. Looks like an old military zone, if I'm right. There's a radio tower there. It could help the relay the signal back here to the colony. That's the problem. It's outside the dead zone. And? And the council simply won't allow anyone beyond the wall. Uh, I don't give a crap what the council says. I'm dying, right? Let's do it. Let's go, baby. Colony rules still apply to us here even with what we do. We're not allowed past the wall. Yeah, you're not. We'll see what do. Oh, the problem is, though, they can't go get the car if we go past. Oh, there's a Herc thing. Are you just absolutely impenetrable here? Like, is that... Oh, he's got armor. Where is...
<laughs> 11 max HP. We need to hit that um, Herc place. Also, I need to not get hit by this girl, but I want to fix the car. Okay, so it doesn't take all the time to go back to where you were. That's good. You exploder. No battery. And no stuff. I think I'm shooting the... I, I think I'm shooting the barricade instead of the person behind the barricade in that situation. So we got in there and there's nothing we can use except the radio for some knowledge. Which isn't terrible, I guess. But there's no... Huh. Oh wait, there is a thing. Hang on. Why is it saying there's an antiviral here? Where is it? Is there one I could just use? The game is saying there's an antiviral here. I don't think it's in that house. There it is. No. I don't think it's that one either. It definitely feels like it's something that's lootable. But for whatever reason... You think it's telling me the one I can make? Have a supply cache before we die.
We made it to the wall. We've got like three max health. Yeah, I was wondering that too if there's one outside the Herc building, but I couldn't find anything I could loot. We made it to the Herc blockade. Radar, do you copy? Yeah, this is Buzzard. Hey, why is the tracker showing you at range of the wall? Because I'm at the wall? I can barely hear you. Did you say you're at the wall? Because the good council don't want us going out there. You know that, Trinity. That's my order, Buzzard. Get off the line. We need to get out of there to find supplies. I don't have time for your shit. We can explain it to the council later. I can do it. Good, be safe. I'll break the news to the repo crew. It's radar. You can do it. We did some recon on the exit a few years ago. The gates are powered by huge generators. One for each side of the gate. Once you power those, throw the gate levers. You should be good to go. Good luck. I have three hit points. Give me a, give me a stim. I don't know, without a stim, I don't know if we're making it. Can we get through somewhere else now? Two hit points. Stim me. Hoping that Merc one would have a stim in it. We could have probably done it. <laughs> Eight stops, 230 supply recovered, 56 run time, 203 infected kills, 7 fuel used. <sighs> that was fun. Time to move on. Karen did well. No one said that. Um, wow. Now, I think that even if there had been a stim, we would have had to do whatever we have to do at the wall on one hit point. Considering early game lack of unlocks and upgrades, that was good. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, we've effectively got no upgrades on the run because I, uh, I agreed it on um, uh, economy, right? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick break, make a cup of tea, hit the little stream room come back and um we might actually start get to get to start investing in our characters since we've met i think we've won more a lot of experience and then we've maxed out the economy so then we can start really ramping into um uh, yeah, character advantage like a slower infection would be good i think or i don't know finding a rifle with 200 rounds of ammunition early game again would be good yeah, i hope we can uh, unlock that one 